gonna take a quick minute just to you always think you're ready to go and then not really quite sure how to begin this one uh it's hard i always introduce my streams as calling myself the dreaded dm or dread or caitlin i had never really intended to reveal my real name but uh i kind of outed myself for me to continue with this particular stream, I have to reveal my last name as well. I keep my name fairly private, just personal thing in myself. I, I wasn't comfortable sharing my name. My full name is Caitlin McCabe. Honestly, this stream is not really going to be about me. In fact, where it is about me kind of ends. It's more about the person in this photo here with me this man right here that man uh is my grandfather he passed away three years ago today of course he was special to me because he was my grandfather but he was a lot more than that to a, uh, quite a few people i knew he was a writer from a very early age in fact that was to me was one of the coolest things in the world that i had a grandfather that was a writer like Roald Dahl or Lewis Carroll I loved that he was that and I loved that his house where I spent a lot of time it was filled to the brim with books filled with shelves and shelves of books like old like first edition books and books about everything from politics to history to fantasy to mythology to everything recently when i went back i found this book which is um a book of poetry that actually has notes in it um that my grandfather wrote that was fantastic to me while i knew he was a writer i i actually didn't know to the extent of what type of writing he did and i didn't realize if it had any kind of reach that change when i was 13 14 i was looking through the exam papers of my english class and i stopped on one of the questions and i was very surprised to see it was my grandfather's book I was very surprised to see that my um not only was my grand one of my grandfather's books famous enough that other people had heard about it but it was also something that people my age were reading to study after that it was it was weird i started kind of realizing how influential my grandfather was with some of his writing he wasn't a pro prolific writer most of his stuff that he is most well known for came out during the 70s 80s i believe was he was a farmer that was the other way he made his living there's lots of stories about my father growing up on this farm and i spent many happy days myself in my childhood going through that house that house and that land it's actually been immortalized in one his one and only children's book and it was written for my father when my father was very young uh, he got appendicitis, his appendix burst. At one point, they were so sure that my father was going to die that they gave him his last rites. It was a very stressful time for my family. And during that time, my grandfather wrote this book. On today, this day, the 27th of August, 2023, I'm going to read this book and that's what this series is going to be. The series is called Heritage and Other Stories, which is a collection of my grandfather's short stories. And my goal for this series is to read all of his works on stream on Sundays. Thank you again so much for coming to this. Have a good day, guys.